At the time I didn't realize why there was so much Klan activity, but later I learned that it was because African American soldiers were returning from World War I acting as if they deserved equal rights because they had served their country. Even when there was segregation there was plenty of integration in the South, but it was for the benefit and convenience of the white person, not us. To bring about change, you must not be afraid to take the first step. We will fail when we fail to try. That was a difference between black slaves and white indentured servants. Black slaves were usually not allowed to keep their names, but were given new names by their owners. One of my greatest pleasures there was enjoying the smell of bacon frying and coffee brewing and knowing that white folks were doing the preparing instead of me. I was 42 years old, and it was one of the few times in my life up to that point when I did not feel any hostility from white people. What I learned best at Miss White's school was that I was a person with dignity and self-respect and I should not set my sights lower than anybody else just because I was black. I have learned it over the years that when one's mind is made up, this diminishes fear, knowing what must be done does away with fear. We had a saying that we worked from can to can't, which means working from when you can see, sun up, to when you can't, sun down. It was just a matter of survival like getting off the road we could exist from day to day. I had decided that I would not go anywhere with a piece of paper in my hand asking white folks for any favors. I had made that decision myself, as an individual. When one's mind is made up, this diminishes fear.